Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. I thought I would sit down and do a video for you lovely guys and gals, but let me give you guys a forearm shot before we get started. See if the forearms are on point today. I think they are. All right, let's talk about this. I've had a lot of people chime in and ask me, uh, you know, about competition plans in the future. Um, I've had people say, hey, now that you are training as a bodybuilder, eating like a bodybuilder, getting leaner, actually working on aesthetics, working on your arms, all this stuff, you got plans to do on, get on a bodybuilding stage. You're like, if you're big enough, you diet down, you probably do really well at a, a local show. Here's my thoughts on that. Um, I'm really not interested in doing a bodybuilding show. And when I say not, that does that mean people will say, oh, you, you, you lied if someday 37 years from now I do a bodybuilding show. No, I have no intention of doing one, at least in this, this current climate. It's, it's not in my goals. It's not something I want to do. Uh, and there's some reasons why. First of all, right now, I am just focusing on my physique more, right? Focusing on my physique, it's actually good for my brand, it's good for what I'm doing with the coaching, everything else. Um, and again, doing it also for myself as well. I'm working on my physique quite seriously now at this point. And that's never been something I took that serious, even though people said, well, you did a little bit. It was never serious. Not like it is now, though, where you guys see me doing a body part split, isolating all the heads of the delts, doing three types of curls every week, right? Again, literally isolating every head of my gut and dieting down, getting leaner. And I'm down to 212. 212 is the lightest I've been for a long time, not counting water cuts. By a long time, I'm going to say at least nine years. At least nine years. And I'm going to probably cut down to about 200. I want to see what we can do with that. And I know that as I get leaner, the waistline and everything will get smaller. It'll tighten up. I mean, obviously, you see the abs and stuff now. but not where it needs to be and I need I want to finally diet down that loose skin or I have around the waistline from the hundred pounds of fat loss I want to get rid of it and I think the only way to do that is for me to probably get down to something like nine or ten percent body fat it's probably what I'm gonna to have to do and I've just accepted that just accepted that fact sorry my face is itching a little so in that process, I'm going to have to just keep getting leaner and it's going to be a high priority, right? It's going to be a priority. But the topic of uh, the bodybuilding, um, my, my issue with it is philosophically these days, I don't have the same, the same issue. Do I think pro bodybuilding is still a death cult? Yes. Do I think the whole, the, a lot of the darker side of it is different today and died down? I think some aspects of that have, okay? But I think it is still very much, uh, very much a death cult. It's very much a dangerous thing, and, it, and they are dropping like flies. I am 47. I'm not interested in doing all that. Um, but when it comes to then people are like, well, we're not talking about pro. We're talking about any bodybuilding. The issue is the the level of leanness that they want. People don't understand how lean they want to get. I know guys who prep people for natural bodybuilding shows. They're on my friends list. I see it in their feeds, their discussions. And all the time they're like, a lot of people, you get up here and you think you're show ready and you go do a show and don't do well. And he's like, you're another 12 weeks from being show ready. He's like, I've seen one guy write that. He's like, I see you guys do this all the time and wonder why you didn't place great. You're not conditioned enough, not for today's standards. He's, and he'll say that like, he's like where you were at that show, you're 12 weeks out. 12 weeks out from actually looking like a current competitive bodybuilder. That's three more months of dieting down. Same people say stuff like you can't compete every year, especially, especially not in the natural divisions or like you can't successfully compete every year. It will beat your body into the ground. They're like, you can't keep dieting down that lean and staying that lean. They're like, you need sometimes a full year of gaining muscle before you start your next six month prep. So I'm seeing some of them who are like, really, every 18 months, every two years, should be how often you compete if your health matters. So we kind of come back over to that point of why, what is the problem? They want you to get too lean. And it's because they just don't want ripped, right? They don't want ripped. They're wanting people to be ripped and then diet 10 more pounds off is what they're looking for. I don't think that that standard should exist. I don't think it's healthy. Uh, and it would be different if it was golden error or silver and error bodybuilding judging standards. 
I would possibly, I might possibly can entertain the idea. And I'm not saying I would, I would at least, okay, I see what people are saying. But when they are wanting you to be that shredded, um, to where you're dieting down to like 5% body fat, uh, you know, you're, you have striations and veins through your entire lower back, okay? No pinchable skin anywhere. Your whole body looks like shrink wrap. Okay, that's not sustainable and it's not healthy and it takes a toll. It takes a toll, just like you, I don't want to do any more water cuts for powerlifting. I'd said after that last that that last year of doing that, I went back and did a, a meet in the 220. I'm like, I'm not putting my body through that again. I'm getting too old for it. I'm getting way too old for it. So for me, even then at that time, I've competed at 90 kilos again. It's too much. I felt the strain on my body. I felt my kidneys doing those sort of water cuts. You know, it's the same thing when it comes to bodybuilding. That is hard on your body. All right, I'm trying to be fit, trying to be athletic, trying to look good. I want to look good. I want to look aesthetic. But we don't have to get that shredded to be there. And I would make the case that when people are that shredded, it, it doesn't look aesthetic anymore. Uh, but because that's where those judging standards are, that's where you have to be to compete. And I, again, I have no desire to do that. I'm fine with continuing to get lean enough to where I have deep separation between all my abs, all the way down to the lower abs, okay? No problem. No problem with that. I don't plan on getting lean enough to where I have striations in my obliques and my low back and striated glutes, okay? Not on, on the menu for me. Nice deep abs, yes. A nice tight waistline, yes. Striated shoulders, you bet. But that, that tier that they're wanting people to go to, I have no desire to do that. It's purely because I don't want to put my body through that, right? I, at this point in my life, I don't want to subject my body to that level of, of hardship anymore, to where it's going to potentially compromise my health and everything else further. Um, it's, it's just not worth it to me. You know, people, even though people are like, oh, I'd like to see you try to do that. Like, it's just not worth it. And I have no, and it's not an interest of mine. You know, so when people bring that up, that, that sort of thing is purely for fan service. I'm not passionate about bodybuilding as a competitive endeavor, I'm not even interested in it. So again, it's, it's people wanting to do that for fan service and I'm just not gonna do it. Um, and as far as even powerlifting, I've said I will probably at some point compete in powerlifting again. As of right now, that's not even on the menu. Like I have no current competitive plans, okay? Did some meets, did really well, broke state records at all those meets I did, uh, three meets in one year. I don't feel the need to do it again right now. Um, again, not on the radar. And I'm not saying I'm not going to, because we all know I will probably step on a powerlifting platform again. It's just probably invariable. But at this time, I don't have plans for it. I don't know what year. I don't even know what way. It's, it's not something I'm even thinking about. Not something I'm even thinking about at the moment. So for the people who are asking, that's that's what's going on. I'm just training and, and enjoying the process and the journey and working on my, my personal and professional goals. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative. I'll talk to you guys and gals next time.